We're really encouraged that the new home registrations for quarter three in 2014 are 8% higher than they were in 2013, so good growth. And especially so because 2013 showed a 28% improvement on 2012 for new home registrations. So we can see that there's growth going on. It's also really encouraging to hear that all the political parties agree that we should build more new homes in the UK. They're all committed. However, within this encouraging growth that we're seeing, there are a couple of points that we're interested in. We want to find out more about. So the first thing is the number of small builders on an HBC's register halved during the recession, which isn't a surprise because that's what tends to happen in, in recessions. But we're actually seeing the recovery being quite slow for those smaller builders re-emerging and joining an HBC's register. Also, what is unusual is to see the makeup of the new homes being built in the UK and the proportion being built by smaller builders. We'd have expected to have seen more homes being built by the UK's smaller house builders. We're really keen to find out more about what's happening in the small builder sector and the NHBC Foundation has commissioned research amongst 500 of the UK's smaller house builders to understand what the barriers are currently and to find out how maybe that sector could build more of the UK's homes. The research found a great deal of consensus amongst the small builders about the big challenges facing that sector at the moment in terms of growth. There were four main areas. The first one was unsurprising, it was development finance. About a quarter of the respondents said that they're finding it difficult to get the money in place for new housing development. The second area which was cited as being a problem is planning. And it's not just the planning approvals which are the issue, it's actually the delays. Delays in planning approval can really affect the finances and the cash flow for the smaller builders. It's a major risk for them and they're quite concerned about that. The third area which is a concern for, the, for these guys is the availability of land. They'd like to see land being more openly available to them, smaller sites are a, 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 an area they'd like to see more of. And, and the fourth thing is skills. And this isn't just for the small builders. I think for the industry as a whole, as we go through this period of growth, there is some strain on the system as we try to find skilled trades on site and also good managerial skills as well. So the small builders are concerned about that too. The report makes a number of recommendations to improve the prospects for small builders. I think the first area, the main area, is that the money, the development finance, needs to be more flexible in its arrangements for small builders. Also, I think there's a feeling that the the government funding, which has been very welcome and well received, needs to reach down to maybe smaller companies, which it's currently not extending to. So that's a challenge for the Builder Finance Fund. In terms of planning, the planning process needs to be speeded up and some of the risks taken away for these smaller builders. And I think in terms of land availability, the one thing that we've heard from this research is that smaller builders would like the big parcels of land that local authorities or agencies have to be broken up maybe into smaller parcels so that smaller companies can get back into the market. I think everyone is beginning to recognise the importance of the small builder sector and that in the context of this recovery that we're seeing, more needs to be done. And NHBC will continue following this research to work closely with all those involved in, in the small builder community and with government to see what we can do to improve the prospects for those smaller builders.